Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we're going to be reacting to the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. The trailer has dropped, uh, it's just been shown off today and I haven't seen it yet so I'm going to watch it right now uh, and I guess this is our little uh, pack icon right here. I gotta add that to my uh, pack randomizer. Alright, so we'll watch the trailer now, we'll watch it through for the first time then we'll go back and have a look at some of the interesting things that we find. This is world pre-COVID-19. So sad. I am really liking the look of this stuff though. A lot of junk. Hmm. Got some candles, got a, got a junkyard kind of thing I guess. Kind of reminds me of The Sims 3 Ambitions. Kind of, kind of, oh, okay, so it's kind of, it looks like it's kind of like a community voting sort of thing. I guess we should probably read the pack notes after this to actually see what we're looking at. <laughs> okay, a little, little digital sketch pad kind of thing going on there, and then... She's making a thing, and she's vacuuming the... Did she just vacuum the pollution out of the air? <laughs> Tiny homes! <laughs> yes. Wait, was that a ladder? I'm pretty sure I just saw a ladder. Did they finally add those? Oh, there's ladders. Oh, fine. Wait, I wonder if you need to have... No, it's a build mode thing. Surely you wouldn't need to have this pack for that. Play to change. That's right. I play to change my life in The Sims. All right, well, I'm gonna read the, the little pack notes now. Welcome to Evergreen Harbor, the sustainable city of your dreams. Join your fellow collaborative makers and sustainability activists in The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack coming to PC, Mac, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 on June 5th, 2020. Well, that's just rude. My birthday's June 4th, so that would have been a nice present. Also, kind of really interesting to note that the Xbox and PS4 release are the same day, which I don't think they've ever done before, so that's kind of exciting. Change the world. Every action you take and decision you make influences the state of the world around you. The cleaner Evergreen Harbor gets, the more you'll see nature thriving. You determine whether the skies are smoggy or clear enough to see the Aurora Borealis glimmering above. Let garbage pile up in the streets of your neighborhood or clean it up to create a lush green walking path. Oh, I mean, we got to have a garbage city. Can we recreate Wally in this, in this, <laughs> in this expansion? Upgrade your home. New updates and build by encourage going green too. For the first time, you can offset your bills with wind turbines, solar panels, and dew collectors. Reduce your eco footprint and invest in a living rooftop for a splash of bright color. Inside, choose between gorgeous new furniture, sustainably made of course, or upcycle someone else's junk into beautiful items. Now, I do wonder with wind turbines and solar panels if that will play into the off the grid trait. I would really hope they do, so that if you had one of these off the grid, you could then use, you know, something electrical or, you know, uh, any plumbing items. That would actually make the off the grid trait way better to be able to use that stuff with it. Make or break it. Speaking of reclaiming and repurposing things, why don't you check out a new job as a maker? As you go around town, keep an eye out for collectibles and materials for your next product. Brave Sims might try dumpster diving for resources like dyes, bits and pieces, and ingredients, as long as they don't mind the smell. Choose the freelance crafter career to fill mail and internet orders for your candles, fizzy juices, upcycled objects, and more. Or try to encourage your neighbors to vote for a community maker space where you can all craft together. Okay, so a lot more of sort of crafting things and and I guess we saw the sort of candles in the trailer, which we'll have a look at it again in a minute. Use your voice. Unused community spaces are going to waste, literally as a dump. Rally your neighbors to decide how to use it. Oh, can I like change, if it's as a dump by default, can we change it to a pit so we can just recreate parks and rec and then rally all the neighbors to fill in the pit and make it a park? Now that's something. To get that market space, you're gonna need support. Want a shared planting space with vertical gardens instead? Vote for it. Every week you can join your new community in voting for a neighborhood action plan. Transform the shared lot. Promote the performing arts. Suggest a weekly workout demand and upcycling initiative. Um, okay, so I'm not really sure. I guess it's gonna be interesting to see what this turns out to be because it's kind of hard to tell from that description. But it seems like there's going to be a lot that can transform into a few different things, I guess, by the sounds of it. 
Um, but I'm really, I, I'm actually really interested in the idea of just keeping the world disgusting and dirty. That sounds way more fun than making it clean and green. I mean, we're obviously gonna have to do it one time, but I want to make it dirty. All right, let's have a look at the trailer. So let's just go back to the start. Uh, first up, this world looks sick. I'm so glad that we've got like such a dirty world because we have not had this. This, yeah, it does really remind me of Twinbrook. I mean, obviously that whole world wasn't gross, but it had all the junkyards and stuff. I really like all the sort of uh, iron and sort of iron, all the steel girders and stuff around the place. She should be wearing a mask. That is inappropriate. Or, you know, into the into the elbow if you don't have a mask, ideally. I do like all the trash everywhere. That is actually, <laughs> that's really nice. Um, and I love this alleyway too. Are we getting drivable cars? I think we've got drivable cars confirmed now. Uh, no, but this is, I, I love the detailing of this. I'm going to assume all of this changes if the world upgrades, but for now, just this aesthetic in general looks sweet. And is this going to be a fly death? Have they finally brought that back? Death by flies? Because that is a classic Sims death. I, I don't know if that was in The Sims 1. It was definitely in The Sims 2, but that was a good one. Um, so that'll be fun. There's the dumpster diving, someone with a paper bag on the head as well. Always a good time there. So that's where you can look for the new, uh, I guess, well, find dyes and craftables and all that kind of stuff in there. And then, oh, they finally added um, wallpapers that look like shipping containers. We can actually make shipping container homes that look like shipping containers. Now that's exciting. Ooh, nice window. I like that one. That's cool. Ah, oh, yeah, I do love this. I saw this in the uh, when we watched it the first time. That's really nice. And those windows are pretty cool too. Ooh, nice new terrain paint there. Ooh, it looks like we got a couple more bicycles as well just there. All right, so then we've got... So this is like, I guess, a, a recycling machine almost what it looks like. Because it's taking all that junk, turning it into a cube, doing some candle dipping, some candle making. Very nice. Oh, the candles actually, they melt. That's kind of fun. Uh, and then we've got... Uh, so this, I guess, is maybe the lot that they're referring to in terms of what it transforms into, because at the moment it's just a dump. I do also really like this. Man, there's a lot of junky looking items here and the dam right behind there. Man, what kind of house is that? Is <laughs> house is right in front of the dam. What an awful place to live, but I love it. Uh, I mean, how could you change? How could you make that look nice on the world transforms? Anyway, so this looks like a sort of, this guy's rallying everyone like, hey, let's clean up the neighborhood. Let's do it. Oh yeah, look, we got some more market stores. We're doing some voting. And then we got a bunch of crafting stuff going on here. Everyone's making stuff. And then it's transformed into this garden. Oh, this, yes, yeah, so this is actually really cool. So I guess this is like the vertical garden they were talking about. And it looks like you can just plant regular uh, plants in there and just grow whatever you want, which is actually really nice. New plants are there as well. There's a solar panel in the back there. There's a wind turbine up over there as well. Very nice. And... We've got little, I guess, maggots or something in this? I don't know, similar to the bee box, I guess, but obviously not bees. And then this is, I don't know, this, what is she making? She's in a room doing something. We've got a robot that's like crafting something. Is there anything new in here as well? I want to have a look. Yeah, it's all kind of similar stuff we've got. Okay, she's pretty proud of herself. I guess she made this thing is what she was making, which is cleaning the air. Which actually, let me just go back here a little bit. What do we have before? So we got, so, I mean, does this... No, that, that surely that doesn't transform the houses when you clean up. That's probably something they've done. Now I am very excited for the ladders that I'm seeing. Finally, <laughs> it's about time. Um, oh, that door's really nice. So we got those stairs there. We've got a ladder here. Little glass awning. There's a wind turbine. Oh, it's got two different lengths. Nice, a few solar panels there. Oh, hang on a second. A little grass roofing going on there. Interesting. I do like that. Nice green roof. Very good. What else do we have? So some of those new windows and we've got a little wall plants there. Oh, I just love, I love the aesthetic of the dirty world though. Oh, actually that looks really nice too with all the stuff coming back in there. All the greenery again. I do actually also really like the aesthetic of this world when it's fully grown too, when it's all like back and clean. That's really nice. A couple of new lounges up there as well. We've got a few different sizes of that glass awning. Lots of greenery as well, which is really nice. Green, yeah, we definitely have the grass roofs going on now, which is pretty nice. I'm wondering if it is just grass roofs or the ability to place floor tiles on roofs, which I would prefer because we have grass floor tiles, so that'd be cool. But I don't know, I'm not holding out hope for that, but it looks like nice grass roof there. Little roof party going on there, pretty sweet. Aurora Borealis, there it is. Look at that. Play to change. Oh, yeah. 
Good stuff. Well, that's it. The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack coming out June 5th everywhere on all platforms, which is pretty exciting. I, I think it looks really interesting. I'm definitely keen to see more. I want to know how the set of community voted lot thing works. I am glad that we can also choose how the world is going to be. Like, it's not a one directional thing. Like, we don't have to make it better. It says we could also just leave it polluted and gross, which I kind of want to do because it looks awesome. Uh, and I'm super excited for the ladders. Uh, finally going to be able to do tiny builds that make a lot more sense. And tiny builds with actual shipping container wallpaper. That's exciting stuff right there. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.